I know I'm on a board game ban, but remember it didn't uh, take into account Kickstarter games. And this is another one like Stumped that has arrived in the last week. Home on LaGrange. I've got no recollection of backing this one, so <laughs> it's a bit strange, but it doesn't really look like something I would have backed either, despite the fact that I'm a big sci-fi nut. But let's open it up and have a quick look. Oh, oh my, the Grange. Oh, pretty big rule book. Uh, there are all the Kickstarter backers, I would assume. 16 pages without this. Yeah, it's a really sturdy uh, rule book as well. It's like a thick stock. Oh, wow. Okay, this is where most of the weight came in. The Admiral's Log. 173 pages. Oh, wow. So that seems to make up the bulk of the game. It's literally three lots of cards, two regular sized and one oversized. We'll open them up. There we go. These look like the parts of the space station or spaceport. Good cardstock. Got that sort of indented satin finish. Back. I like the quirky artwork. It's odd that I've got no recollection of this at all. I wonder if it was on Kickstarter a long time ago. It's just uh, appeared. QR code. To experience the Admiral's log, not only through your eye holes, but through your ear holes as well, you can visit Grizzly Games. That's a nice little thing, I guess. These just look like more of these. The artwork. I wish I had more of a recollection of when I backed it, but I'll give it a go. You might, you might see a review thoughts at some point. This is kind of off-putting for me, but if it's filled with story, I'm quite happy to go with that. That is Home on Lagrange. Two to five players, ages 14 plus. Playtime is only 30 minutes. Wow. Ah, the retro artwork. It's set in the 70s. Well, nice one, Grizzly Games. See how we go. That's another quick unboxing. Nerf and Stein out.